Imagine that you were trying to make a plant grow faster by just drowning it with more water than it could handle. You might think that faster watering means faster growth, but in reality, your plant probably won't survive for very long. Well, your brain is just like that plant. And this is why your teachers always warned you against cramming for a test at the last minute. When you try to load your brain with so much information, like 10 p.m. the night before an exam, it isn't even given the chance to absorb that knowledge, which is why you end up forgetting nearly all of it within just a few hours, if not a few minutes. What you should do is more gradually drip feed your brain that new information in much shorter study sessions over many days or weeks or months if you want to truly grow that strong tree of knowledge that will last for the long term. Brain scientists call this learning tactic spaced repetition. And an important part of spaced repetition is making sure that each short study session is hyper-focused on exactly the concepts that you most need to review at that specific moment in your learning. You see, whenever you're exposed to new knowledge, new connections are made between your brain cells. If you wait too long after first learning a concept before you see or use it again, that neuron connection will weaken and drop, and you'll have to learn that information all over again, like the night before your test. But if you instead review that concept again within precisely the right amount of time before you were just about to forget it, then something magical happens. The extra effort that your brain makes to retrieve the knowledge it was just about to forget actually forces your brain to say, wow, we almost forgot this. So we need to work harder to strengthen this synapse and make it more permanent. And this helps the concept become much stickier in your brain. This is why it's so important to use a study strategy that breaks all your knowledge up into its most atomic, bite-sized objectives so that you can evaluate your confidence in each concept and then schedule precisely when to review each one again based on your likelihood of forgetting it. Studies show that spacing your learning over time can help you learn twice as much as cramming with half the amount of net study time. So whether that easily repeatable knowledge structure is built into your textbook software program, or you're using paper flashcards, or you're using an adaptive flashcard app like Brainscape, if your study system uses spaced repetition, then you'll be applying the actual science of learning to rise to your challenge.